Sports here. Hey, welcome to Base Sunday. We got a, another terrific show for you today. A big event in Oakland, a nonprofit doing some unbelievable work, a documentary guaranteed to move you, and we got some. Uh, some guy talking about puppets here. I think you're going to like to. But first, a reminder, you can follow us on our Facebook page, tweet us on Twitter, and catch up with us on YouTube as well, and of course, cbssf.com all the time. Okay, our first guest is the co-creator and the host of the unscripted live puppet show that is taking over uh, Off-Broadway and just debuted right here in San Francisco at the current theater. It's called Stuffed and Unstrung. Uh, critics love this rather adult take on the Muppets, uh, PG-13 and up. Yeah, I'd say so. Six comedians, puppeteers, putting on a great show. Let's welcome uh, the co-creator and the host, Patrick Presto. Hey. How are you? I'm good, Frank. How are you? Are you uh, are you tired? I know you debuted last yeah. night. Uh, yeah. I how did it go? It was fun. It was a blast. We had a packed house, enthusiastic house. Um, uh, and you asked if I'm tired? Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> I bet I, you are. That is, that's, a little, that's too much fun to have in one night. And, you know, expect me to bounce back the next day. I need to recuperate from the fun. Well, let's talk about the show because yeah. uh, it's it's inspired by the Muppets. I mean, you actually use their... their Puppets, right? Uh, actually, uh, you... no, no, not really, um, but I can clarify this. Um, the puppets we use are from the Jim Henson uh, company, right. right? But they're not puppets that were ever used in one of the Muppet franchise projects. Gotcha. So you're seeing a whole new stock of original, twisted, interesting Jim Henson uh, creations. And what is cool about this show, it is somewhat scripted but somewhat not scripted whatsoever exactly I mean a there's blend. a little bit of song and dance in this involved but uh, you you draw the audience in mm -hmm. and uh, I, I guess it's very interactive as well right oh yeah we um we completely depend on the audience because uh, a lot of what we do is improv so we get a suggestion from the audience and then the uh, puppeteers have to take it from there make up everything that not only that they're saying but the movements of the puppets because usually the puppeteers don't improvise their movements that's usually a kind of a choreographed art and now they have they've got to create the whole scene and make sure that elbows don't go into people's mouths it's very dangerous now i it's think a contact we, sport Frank. i think we've uh, we got a little clip here if we can uh, we can run that this is from right. stuffed and unstrung uh let's take a peek at uh, how it all operates Pop it up. Improv, you'll help us make it up. Just shout out your suggestions and then we'll pop it up. Pop it up. Pop it up. We don't know what we're doing. We like to mix it up. But we're puppets and we're not too smart. We all f it up. F it up. F it up. We lay in cardboard boxes. At night they pack us up. But now we're at the Union Square just to crack you up. Pop it up. Pop it up. Good stuff. So there's really kind of two shows going on. You've got the big screen where you're just kind of seeing the puppets, right? And, yes. But on stage, you, you've you got uh, your six puppeteers, comedians, that yeah. are are doing all the work. So that must be kind of cool. It, it's really cool because you get to you get to choose where you want to focus. You can look at the lock-off, you know, like you're used to seeing puppets on TV, right? Or you can watch how the puppeteers are managing to get that done. You can see if they're close to breaking character and laughing. Um, uh, you can see the panic on their face sometimes. So it's it's just infinitely entertaining to go back and forth. And you might want to see the show twice because I guess every show's different, right? Oh yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we have a couple set pieces, like vintage recreation pieces that um, haven't been seen by live audiences for forty some odd years. That we have rebuilt the puppets and re. Uh, um, mounted those old classic pre-Muppet routines. Um, but then most of it's improv, so yes, it's different every night. The audience dictates what the show is. And, I mean, first of all, being a puppeteer, I mean, that takes some skill. But secondly, to improv, how long's the show? Um, the show goes about an hour, 20, hour and a half. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's heavy duty. I mean, you gotta come up with new stuff, and they're uh -huh. throwing you know, stuff at you. And, and it's physically exhausting for the puppeteers. Not so much me, I just have to hold a microphone. But as the host. As the host, yes. Now, I was supposed to ask you about the Huxtables. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, it, when we get a suggestion from the audience, usually I take the first thing that is clear that I understand out of that wall of sound that's coming out at me. 
Um, but last night, I was asking for a type of TV show, and someone said The Huxtables. And our current cast um, is, you know, uh, Rather young. Pinch the League White. Oh. <laughs> and I just, I don't know, I, I made a, a, a choice to go, like, I don't know if I want to see a bunch of white people uh, playing an African-American family. And so I got another suggestion, and, and we, you know, uh, we found something that the entire audience could Figure enjoy without um, me getting terribly nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so I, 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 um, I did a veto. Yeah. Uh, very good. Well, hey, it was awfully nice to meet you. Wish nice you all the best here in San Francisco. Thank you. And uh, if you'd like to catch Stuffed and Unstrung at the current theater in San Francisco, it's playing right now through August the 27th. And if you'd like more information about Brian Henson's Stuffed and Unstrung and ticket sales, visit shnsf.com. We're going to be right back with more Bay Sunday. Stay right there. Pop it up. <laughs>